cement that's made entirely from waste products. So it's being touted by scientists from NTU as a cheaper and a greener than the regular version. Oh, they found a way to make what's being called bio-cement. It starts when urea and bacteria from wastewater are allowed to react with calcium taken from industrial carbide sludge. When this happens in soil or sand, it binds particles together, forming a strong and solid block. This renewable version can be used to strengthen the ground for construction, control beach erosion and even repair monuments like statues. And from all this, we are joined by Professor Chu Tian. He's chair of the School of Civil and Environmental Engineering and director of the Center for Urban Solutions at NTU. Professor Chu, uh, your team is one of the pioneering teams that came up with this idea to use waste material to make bio-cement. Uh, how did you come up with this idea to somehow induce uh, native soil bacteria to force soil particles to clump together? Yeah, biocimentation is actually one of the natural process. So what we have been doing is to accelerate this process uh, using proper engineering and the science. Oh, so when so you one accelerate... Of the ways, uh, oh, pardon me, uh, please continue. Sorry for cutting in. Yeah. So one of the ways uh, is to use uh, uh, bacteria together with waste products uh, to make biocement uh, as uh, construction materials for soil improvement. But why specifically uh, industrial carbide sludge and urea? Why these materials? Uh, well, one of the ways to reduce the cost in construction materials uh, is to use waste uh, we also have disposal problems. So when we learned uh, uh, carbon sludge is one of the ways which uh, need to be uh, disposed. So when we carried out some study to see whether it's a suitable purpose, and uh, it turned out uh, uh, carbon sludge can be one of the materials used for our bio cement. Oh, uh, in our introduction to this interview, I mentioned that the, this version of bio-cement is uh, strong and solid. However, I was reading an earlier paper of yours in 2015 when you pointed out that one of the challenges uh, in the materials you develop, this bio-cement, is that it can be fairly brittle and that there are other processes that you then have to start to use so that you can strengthen the resulting bio-cement. Is that a challenge that you face in developing this alternative cement? Uh, yes, brittleness is certainly one of the challenges which we have been facing uh, in the research. But the major challenge is actually in work out the science, because this is a very new development. Uh, understanding the science, understanding the gap and behind the technology uh, is one of the biggest challenges in our research. All right, uh, it's a challenge because you are thinking of using this to replace our current version of cement, the standard cement that we all use now. Uh, surely it is quite difficult to do so. What sort of challenges do you see in terms of making this alternative cement fully replace our current cement? Yeah, in addition to understanding the science behind it, uh, we have to produce uh, the materials in a massive way because uh, bio cement is different from uh, cement, which is a product you can easily buy from the market. And the uh, production of bio cement in a massive way uh, it will be another uh, difficulties which need to be overcome. Oh, thanks very much indeed for that, Professor. And use of the waste. Uh, please continue. It's just a final comment from you, Professor Chu Tian. Yeah. And use of the waste will be one of the ways to help with uh, massive production and also to cut down the cost in the construction material. Well, thanks very much for all that. Professor Chu Tian speaking to us there from NTU.